Okay, so in the previous video, we were doing HLOOKUP, and if you remember, we were here, and we did HLOOKUP, and what were we looking up? We were looking up the month. Where were we looking? We looked up the everything in the entire table over there. What was our row index number? And that was a manual process. We were looking up and saying, okay, in row number two, find January, row number two, what's the answer? That's great, but you see, we had to manually, in each one of these, change the row index number. And that's fine for like a couple of people, but if you've got a lot of people, then it's probably easier to have a function that will automatically find the row number for you. I know, and this is how we're gonna do it. Watch, so let's do equals H lookup as normal, right? The lookup value is January, okay, or uh, F10, okay, that's the lookup value, and I absolute that, okay. The table array, just like before, nothing different here, there we go, there's my table array, absolute as well. That's what all the dollar symbols are there for, remember, hey? Now, the row index number. So now I'm going to, instead of manually typing in the you know, row number two, I'm going to use a function called match. And match, this is what match does. Match takes a value that you give it and it tells you where it is in a range, like a row. Watch, 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 watch. This is so cool. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, match. The, I need to just spell match. There's match, okay. Now, I've got a function within a function, all right? So it's like Inception, the movie, okay? A dream within a dream, okay. So match the lookup value. So in this situation, I'm going to look up that person, this person over here, AW20. That's what I'm looking up. So it's going to look up that person. And where is it going to look up this person? It's going to look up this person in here like this okay there it is there that's all and i'm going to say you know what uh, an exact match so that's just a zero at the end so let's just break that down very quickly if we have a look at the match function the match function asks for three things two things you have to give it all right so the first thing is the lookup value which in this case is match e11 so find e11 look at it here find aw220 okay in this array so find it there when you find it you tell me okay when you find that exact aw220 then you tell me what row number is that because that'll be the first row that'll be the second row that'll be the third row okay so outside of that now if we have a look the row index number is that so instead of me telling it the row index number manually like the number two i use the match function inside of this function I use the match function to work out my row index number instead all right and then range lookup as before false there we go okay is it one uh, I think it's one or two one two one two okay I'm gonna press enter and boy I hope this works so I don't have to edit this and make it look like I know what I'm doing all right, it's fine. I just left, I, I added too many um, things. Click OK. Yay, it's working. Let's see if it works for the rest of them, okay? Here we go, watch. Oh, please work, please work. Ah, it's not working, it's not working. Okay, let's see why it's not working. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'll tell you now why it's not working. I'm going to just quickly fix this and tell you why it's not working. Aha! I know why it's not working. I was going to edit this all out and just make it look like I'm super cool. But actually, I know exactly why it's not working. So it's blasted uh, cell references that are not absolute again. So have a look, guys. I went back here. Okay, these all say 610. It's wrong, obviously. Let's have a look why. Match that, that. The, the array, that's got to be absolute as well. So I've learned something again. There we go. Now it's going to work. He says, famous last words. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, ho, ho. thank you very much. All right. So, my goodness, I know it looks crazy, but actually, if you break it down into little pieces, it's actually pretty easy. You've got an H lookup. Your lookup value is there, the, the month, January, okay? Your lookup table is there, the whole table. 
your row index number, in, instead of you typing in a number, we used a function called match to look for the person's ID and then tell me in that little column which row it is, which row number that person's ID is in and the range lookup is false. That is it. Now, in an exam, you might be like, you might not get all this in one big function. I mean, you might want to do it like this. Instead of trying to work out the, the using the match within the lookup, okay, the age lookup, you can actually just do the match separately in another cell, which will work it out for you. So we go equals match. We are looking up the person's ID, all right? And the lookup array is going to be that whole table. Remember to select the same the same area, okay? So the whole table is selected there in turn, no, not the whole table, I'm lying, the whole column that has the data in it. So from A2 all the way down to A8. All right, very important. So let's, uh, what else? I'm gonna make that absolute because I'm always gonna reference that and the match type must be exactly zero. Okay, so let's see what that does. So that gives me a number two. That means that this, in terms of this array that I selected, AW20 is on the second row. So watch this, I'm gonna do this, just drag this down for all of these guys. That looks pretty good to me. And here, instead of using the match within HLOOKUP, because maybe it's not working for you and you're thinking, okay, you know what? I can work out match separately, like I've just done here, do that. So instead of that, all we do is you take away the whole match thing there, take that away. All right, and what we need here is the row index number. The row index number has been worked out over here using the match feature over there so I'm just gonna reference that instead and it's perfect have a look I'm gonna drag this down just to make sure that it works which it does there you go there you go you can see it's referencing we have actually cal so calculated match over there so if you're battling with functions within functions break it up a bit okay work out part of it in one cell work out part of it in another cell and then you can put them together by referencing just those those cells that contain the functions okay I hope that makes sense all right, but there you go. H lookup, the standard way, um, manually putting in numbers, number row numbers, and H lookup using match to automatically determine the row number.